Hindi na. Ikaw mo sasabing to turn to page? Hindi, meron mo sila yung music. Ah, meron? Okay. Hindi na ka ba? Pinamigay ko na nga eh. Hindi, ang ating leader ito. Okay, so, can we agree on it? Yeah, just do it. Tell us what you're going to do. Okay, are you going to sing while we process up this? Mm-hmm. Okay. Procurator look like a deacon. Mm-hmm. We'd like to welcome all of you that are here this morning. You'll see that they're going to begin our celebration today at the entrance to the door as a child is entering into our church. And so while they're walking, um, and it's a sign of hospitality and welcome, and to gather us, we're going to really sing our gathering song with heart and energy to welcome our procession into the church. All right? But for right now, we'd like to just ask you to stand and, um, as we enter into the beginning of our ritual. Yeah, they're ready. Children of 
God in Christ Jesus. For all of you who were baptized into Christ, then clothe yourself with Christ. There's not a Jew nor Greek. There's not a slave nor free person. There's not male and female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to them to observe all the commandments that I gave you. 
And behold, I am with you until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. St. Paul told the Galatians that all who were baptized into Christ were clothed with Christ. Today, after her baptism, we will place a white garment on Rachel as a sign and as a symbol of her being clothed with Christ. As an outward sign, the garment will be made of cotton cloth. It will be white and will cover Rachel's body. It's a very small garment, <laughs> but it fits her now. As she grows, her parents will keep her clothed by fitting her with new and larger garments. Clothes that will protect her from the environment she is in and adorn her as a beautiful child created by God. As a symbol, the garment she will wear will be made white by the cleansing of the waters of baptism and the power of the Holy Spirit. And it will be woven from the Christian faith she will be born into. And just as the cloth garment she will wear needs to grow, so too must her garment of faith grow as she grows. Her parents will be responsible for seeing that Rachel's garments of faith to continue to grow. And her grandparents will be helping them. But today Rachel will also become part of the Catholic community of St. Finbar. And as members of our family, it becomes our responsibility to assist our parents in keeping Rachel nurtured and clothed in the faith she will grow into. A faith that will protect her from the environment she is in and adorn her as an adopted child of God. sisters, let us ask our Lord Jesus Christ to look lovingly on this child who is to be baptized, on her parents and godparents, and on all of the baptized. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. By the mystery of your death and resurrection, bathe this child in light. Give her the new life of baptism. Welcome her into your holy church. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Through 
baptism and confirmation, make her your faithful follower and witness to your gospel. Lord, Lord God, God. Your Lord. Lead her by a holy life to the joys of God's kingdom. Lord, 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 Lord hear our prayer. Make the lives of her parents and godparents examples of faith to inspire this child, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Keep her family always in your love, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Renew the grace of our baptism in each one of us here today, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Now do a little bit more sense. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul. Almighty and ever-living God, you, only, you sent your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, spirit of evil, to rescue man from the kingdom of darkness and bring him into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for this child. Set her free from original sin. Make her a temple of your glory and send your Holy Spirit to dwell with her. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Savior. May he strengthen you and with his power who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we now ask God to give this child new life in abundance through water and the Holy Spirit. Father, you give us grace through sacramental signs which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water which you have made a rich symbol of grace of the grace you give us in this sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the water of baptism that make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of the slavery to be an image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. 
Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, Go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church and unseal for her the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Spirit, give to the water of this font the grace of your Son. You created man in your likeness. Cleanse him from sin. In a new birth of birth to innocence by water and spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this font. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear parents and godparents, you have come here to present this child for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, she is to receive the gift of a new life from God, who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring her up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives her is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in her heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism. Reject sin. Profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is about to be baptized. Do you reject Satan? We do. We do. And all his works? We do. we do. And all his empty promises? We do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? We do. We do. do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried? rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. We do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? We do. We do. This is our faith. This is the faith of our church. <laughs> We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. It is your is it your it is, is it your will that Rachel should be baptized in the faith of the church, which we have all professed, professed with you. It is. Rachel, I baptize you in the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin, given you new birth by water and Holy Spirit, and welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation, 
as Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king. So may you live always as a member of his body, sharing everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Rachel, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. See in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity with your family and friends to help you, by word and example, bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. Amen. Amen. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gather together. Christ be our light. keep the flame of faith alive in her heart. When the Lord comes, may she go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith to the praise and glory of God the Father. Amen. 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 Dearly beloved, this child has been reborn in baptism. She is now called the child of God, for so indeed she is. In confirmation, she will receive the fullness of God's Spirit. In Holy Communion, she will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God her Father in the midst of the church. In the name of this child, in the spirit of our common sonship, let us pray together in the words our Lord gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God the Father, through his Son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers as they see the hope of eternal life shine in their children. May he bless the mother of this child. She now thanks God for the gift of her child. May she be one with her in thanking him forever in heaven. In Christ Jesus our Lord. 
Amen. Amen. God is the giver of all human life and divine. May he bless the father of this child. He and his wife will be the first teachers of their child in the ways of faith. May they also be the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith by what they say and do. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. By God's gift through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. In his goodness, may he continue to pour out his blessings upon these sons and daughters of his. May he make them always, wherever they may be, faithful members of his holy people. May he send his peace upon all who are gathered here, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless you. Amen. 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 Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. God.